All right, so today what we're going to do is we're going to interact Python with Hugging Face and use some of their text to image modeling. For we can use Python to interact and pass text and get our images back on the computer, kind of like stable AI. So to get started, what we want to do is go ahead and set up an account. Um, I'm already having an account set up and I'm logged in. But you just click on your little picture up here and you go down here to settings. And then you go down here where it says access tokens. You click on that and then it will give you a way to make a new token. So you're going to need to create a read token. Um, so if I hit new token, I can make a read one, a write one, or like a fine grain custom one. I already made a read one and you just name it what you want up here. I'm going to exit out because I already have one set up. So the next thing we want to do is we'll go down here to um, programming Visual Studio Code. All right, so now that I'm in Visual Studio Code, what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to go up here and hit the Explorer, and I'm going to hit Open Folder, and then I'm going to go to the Documents and then this Test AI folder. I just hit open and now that I'm in that folder and I'm just going to say yes I trust the authors and now um, I'm in there I'm just going to hit a new file and I'm going to name this file test.py and I'm going to end up hitting enter and then hit create file and now I'm here, I have that um, test file right here where I can actually start typing. So the next thing, we'll go to terminal and go to new terminal. We have our terminal up and I want to create a virtual environment. So to do that, I'm just going to type in Python 3-m venv venv and that's going to create my virtual environment and it says do you want to select it for the workspace? And I'm just going to say yes, because I want to use that environment in this workspace. Then I got to activate it. So I'm going to do source, and then I'm going to type in venv slash bin slash activate. And now I'm activated, and I can tell because I'm in that venv right here. So the next thing that I want to do is I want to go over here and I want to do a pip install. And I want to do transformers. And then I want to install in diffusers. And I want to do accelerate. And I need these in there for the program um, that we type up here shortly. Um, we're going to use these packages. So we'll just go ahead and run those and let those start um, installing. And then right here, it says. The torch, um, it got killed. So how do we fix that? Well, what we want to do is we'll just go pip install a torch. And then we'll end up doing um, no cache. And then we'll run that. And then we'll start that download. So now we're going to um, install um, torch on this. And sometimes it gets hung up, and if it does that, you just put in dash dash no cache and then try again. So we're going to let that install. All right, so now that that's installed, we want to do the pip install, and we want to install our Xformers. And then we'll let it go through that process, and then we'll be right back. All right, so now that we got um, the Stable Diffusion API packages installed, the next thing we want to do is we want to do a um, pip install python dash v And the reason we're installing this is because we want to protect our API keys, and this gives us a way to protect them. That way I'm not displaying mine all over the internet for you guys to see. So to set this up, we'll go over here and we'll create a new 
env file and we'll just put token equals and then this is where you're going to put your token key at um, that <coughs> we looked at earlier so that's where that's going to go so then um, we'll just go ahead and go back over here to our test and there's a couple of things that we're going to need to get this to work right we're going to have to import OS and then we're going to have to do from DOT E and V import load DOT E and V then we're going to have to load it and let's see there you go that looks better so now we got everything like loaded up here and this is how we're going <clears> to <throat> call it all right so now that we got this set up what we want to do is we want to go back over here to Huggins face and we want to get a model so I'm going to look for a stable diffusion model and here's version 1-5 so we're going to select on that and if we go down here well, look at that we have the um, Python code right here so we don't have to write anything we can just hit copy and we can paste it and you know we're done I'm talking about simple as that but you guys wanted to use the um, API and since that's what we're going to do in this video we're going to come up here and where we have this deploy tab up here we deploy it and we do this API serverless you click on that and it, again it gives you the code so you know if you want a JavaScript you can but you know we're doing Python so here it is so this kind of gives you the authorization where you have this bearer xxxxxxx that's your this section right here when I copy and paste this into Visual Studios it's going to um, put in my real token because it will have it right here already um, and you set yours up earlier so you'll have whatever you have up here so what we're going to end up doing we're going to hit copy and this copies everything then we're going to go over here and we're going to paste it right underneath here and I'm going to um, pause the video now if I can take out my API keys but I'll show you how that looks like here in a second all right so we pasted this in and the thing that I changed right here um, this is that authorization and I put everything in there inside my token so basically this right here with my real API keys that's what I placed back in this ENV um, file right here and then this is how I'm reading it right here so this right here um, will run the way it is and if I go over here to my test API there's no photos or nothing over here so if I go back here, what we expect to see is we have the input, which is going to be an astronaut riding a horse, right? Well, we got down there and it produces the you know image through the I/O stream, but the one thing the code did leave out, we want to do an image dot save, and then we're going to name this horse dot and I'm doing a PNG. If you want to do a JPEG or a bitmap, I'm talking about you can. I'm just going to do a PNG. And then I'm going to save this. And after I run this, I should have a horse.png over here. So let's see if this works. So we're going to do Python test.py. And to run it, boom, it's done. It's that quick. So if I go over here to the test API, there we go. I got a horse with little astronaut guy writing it and simple as that so if I want to I can go back here uh, let's say we want something else let's say that you know we want cats running around a track because maybe we want to bet on them and stop horses and then down here where we have image saved we saved as a PNG originally but we'll just name this cats um, JPEG and close my tip and save that and then if things go right we'll have the cats 
over here running around the track. So let's go ahead and run this. Maybe. There we go. And then once that's finished running, we'll go over here and look at that. We have this cat in the lead. I don't know what his name is. Um, if you have a good name for this cat, leave it in the comments below. But anyway, that's it. I'm talking about that's pretty much how we use an API um, to pull for stable diffusion. So now, this is a say, we can use other programs to take it and do what we want with it. But <clears throat> there's some things I'd probably do a little bit different on here. I'm talking about we can edit this a lot. We can really make the um, inputs here where it'll come up in the box where you can just go in there and input it that way and then save um, you know we can sit there and say oh well let's just take the first you know character in here to save it for we can have something unique so there's different things we can do to make this better but this right here will give you the basics um, so let me know what you do with it and then I'll end up liking and subscribing and I'll talk to you guys later